This is before I put the hood on. A Manx 1 has a separate hood and dash. It uses a steel frame to hold the windshield, hood, and dash all together. It makes it a lot easier to do the wiring and other necessary things. When you start adding up all the wires you need, this is definitely the way to go. I have an 82 to 90 Chevrolet Camaro tilt steering column in it. All the controls on the steering column work. They're hooked up. That's the ignition switch. The turn signal switch. The high-low beam switch. That's your connector for the wiper switch. And this is a connector for the, v, for the VW wiper assembly. Here's your headlight switch. There's a dash assembly with all the gauges in it. You can see that alone has a lot of wires. This is an 11 wire connector along with a 5 wire connector. I also added a connector for the radio that I may not put in but it's there if I need it. Fuse box with regular push-in fuses. This is your headlights left on reminder, the horn relay, the four-way flasher down underneath, and the turn signal flasher up top there. This is the way you want to wire your buggy. These are the wires for your fuel sender. That's my fuel filler. The wires for the front lights. Exit right here. That way there's a short run to your turn signal or the headlight. Makes for a nice job. I thought you'd enjoy seeing that. It's a lot of work. But that's the way things are. And that's your under dash light. Nice little thing to have at night. This is Milo Max. Later.